Okay, so the latest installment of the Kirby franchise is here. Kirby and the Forgotten Lands. Yep, seems like Kirby finally ate a grandma and now has dementia because he's forgotten how a Kirby game works. Yo, what happened to my 2D game, bruh? Everything in this game is different. Released in March 25th, 2022 by HAL Laboratory, this is the first legit 3D platforming Kirby game, and damn, this makes other Kirby games feel like they should have been in 3D. The movement finally feels elegant and the levels are less tedious for the players. In previous Kirby games, speedrunning a level was challenging to say the least, with the hordes of enemies you had to pass because the player was restricted to the X and Y coordinates, forcing you to take the aggressive route of murder. But now a new dimension in the HAL laboratory has been discovered. Z. And now we win the pacifist mode. Let's go. Yo, get out of my way. That was his fault. In the start of the game, you are dropped into this deep forest, emanating a presence of exploration. But it's a bit dark and gloomy. You start walking, and then they hit you with the- Holy shit, this game is beautiful. You will soon realize that this game can be most accurately described as Super Mario 3D World meets Kirby. Levels are designed very similar to 3D World, having both open world, linear, and top-down views, giving the player a sense of freedom in their movement, but not too much to distract them from the main objective of the level. Even the world map feels similar down to the level selection and extra shit. However, the quality of Kirby's extra shit cannot be compared to 3D World, because Mario has Captain Toad, while Kirby's got whatever the fuck these are. I don't even know what the hell this is. The worlds are diverse yet cliche. You obviously have your classic Kirby grasslands, then you got the water stages, then they hit you with the Cuphead Carnival, Canada, then Arizona, of course you need Arizona, then check this out, never done before, final world, lava world. I have never seen this in a video game before. Okay, so enough about Mario. This is Super Kirby 3D World. So let's talk about Kirby. Obviously, you got the Kirby staple copy ability, letting Kirby harness the power of the things he swallows. And of course, you got the classics. The sword, cutter, ice, fire, needle, bomb, hammer, wind, sleep, and crash. But they added some new ones with the inclusion of the drill and a gun. This is not even a joke anymore. All these abilities feel pretty good, except the needle. I hate the needle. The ice is good for mobility, wind is good for clearing enemies, and the crash is funny as hell as always. One big disappointment though is the exclusion of the rock ability. This interaction with sliding down as a rock was a tradition in the Kirby franchise, so it's a little bit disappointing to see that left out. So yeah, sorry guys, that's a point off. No more rock jokes. My bad. Don't blame me, blame him. One new mechanic they added to the game is the upgrading capability. Throughout the map, there are these blueprints that you can pick up that will allow you to upgrade or change parts to your copy abilities that keeps the game fresh and gives you more options depending on the situation. The laser gun is perfect for this boss fight. The dragon is great for traversal, while you can shit on Meta Knight with his own sword. The time crash is great for mass genocide. And also... This is the best weapon in the game. But guys, above all, the most surprisingly broken thing in this game is using absolutely nothing. Yeah, for some reason, the developers always decide to make the spinning mechanic the most busted shit ever. They give you an option to play on easy mode or hard mode when you first load the game. But damn, using no copy abilities makes wild mode feel like Yoshi's Crafted World. I swear to God, it's the easiest game on the fucking planet. Everything about this game may be like Super Mario 3D World, but the battles can only be compared to Dark Souls with the one-two hit dodge style of combat. However, if you're a fan of the Elden Ring and Dark Souls franchise, you will not like this game because it is too easy. You have a lot of control over Kirby's movements, and the bosses have regular and random patterns that you must dodge roll through. But the difference between this and Elden Ring is that in Elden Ring, you get one-tapped, while in Kirby, you are the one doing the one-tapping, and now you are the boss to the enemy with your infinite health bar. Honestly, including the spitting mechanic, it doesn't even seem fair to the enemies. I can't even lie, Japan's got some scary artillery on their side. So every time HAL announces a new Kirby game, they obviously needed an initial gimmick to reel the customers in. So in 2016, in 2016, it was robots. In 2018, it was fucking friendship. That's gay. But this year, it's deep throating. <laughs> You know this is about to be a good ass game. They are called Mouthful Mode Captures and they are a really cool new addition to the franchise, but they feel more like glass cannon copy abilities, being able to do mass damage but unable to be brought to specific places because apparently it's too big to swallow. I mean it's a little weird how Kirby is able to eat a whole fucking Donkey Kong, yet fails to digest a light bulb. Some of the captures include this traffic cone that one taps, a vending machine that one taps, a set of stairs that one taps, an arc that can one tap, an SUV that one taps, a pipe that one taps, a ring that one taps, I don't even know what this is called, and a big mango chango bongo bongo bingo, and a truck. Bro, what the fuck is happening right now? 
The different levels match the environment in ways that complement the mechanics of the game very well. The ice power in the fire world is a neat nod to Mario Galaxy gliding on the level with the elegance of an ice skater. The ring with the boat is a great mode of transit that is representative in many other games. The overall goal for every level is to save the waddledees at the end that have been captured by these crows for some reason, and in each level there are these missions that you can complete in order to acquire all the waddledees. Now most of these missions are walk in the park like removing this poster, but sometimes you encounter a fucking dickhead of a challenge. And because I'm a masochist, I have to 100% complete the game. I give up. I know, I looked it up. Eat my ass, fuck you. Defeating twin frosties without taking damage. But it's not even a challenge. Ah, please. I hate you. No. God damn. Ah, you bitch. Hell, go fuck yourself. Now the reason why we are saving these Ds are to add them to our town that we are slowly growing. After you acquire your first couple Waddle Ds, you'll see that your town is shitty as hell, looking like Crenshaw. Then you get to the end and it's looking like Philly, because it looks cool, but I swear to god there's nothing to do here. I mean you got your bed, you can fish, there's a live band that complements the joyous environment, nice little carnival games, a couple shops, some gumball machines, sexy shows, and of course the Roman Coliseum that's part of every town. But there's nothing really worthwhile here other than the restaurant which is Pretty fun, I guess. Come on, bro. Not the lunch rush. Are you kidding me? The lunch rush? Oh, I'm dead. Goodbye. Oh, I got the hamburger. I got the hamburger. Oh, drink. You want a drink? Okay. Oh, hamburger. Nope. Please. Another hamburger. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, ah, shit. Why are you guys so fucking angry for? Now, one main complaint I have of this game is that it's quite short. I beat this game in around 5 hours, so in traditional Nintendo fashion, to keep the players playing, they added collectible figures that can be collected by paying coins. So it looks like I'm not 100% completing this game because I'm not going to spend 7 lifetimes trying to search for a fucking collectible like a Pokemon card opener. The post game activities are nothing to write home about either. After defeating the final boss on your first try because as I said, this game is easy, you can do these more condensed versions of previous worlds grabbing orbs and closing each with a more challenging boss fight. And everything is pretty easy until you have to go up against the Red Meta Knight. Ooh, so difficult. Get your bitch ass out of here. I swear to God, if you come here again, I'm gonna slap you. <laughs> Lastly, the Coliseum. Another Kirby staple of a boss rush gauntlet is still as great as usual. Level 1 is a slice of apple pie. <laughs> Easy. Level 2 is a slice of shepherd's pie because, ooh, it can be a bit cold to you sometimes, but it's still pretty good. And level 3 is a jit pie. Level 3 sucks so much cock, I swear it's gay. It's 12 different fights, with each one getting more challenging than the last, with very scarce health refills. Losing means restarting from the beginning, unless you're rich. But the reason that this one is such an asshole is the final boss. I think this is where the hard mode comes into play from the beginning. This boss starts off relatively reasonable, you have to dodge whatever he rushes at you, and hit him at any available small window of opportunity you have. And then in phase 2, he's like, fuck this, I'm gonna get my big brother. Holy! No way you just healed yourself. This has to be bullying, bro. Are you kidding me? Ugh. Ugh. I finally beat you, dickhead. Yo, what is that? How? How? What is that? I was done, right? I thought I was done, right? Come on. I'm done, right? How? Please tell me I'm done, please. And you fucking asshole. The last thing I need to say is about the co-op. And the co-op in this game fucking sucks balls. It's kinda like Mario Odyssey, how the second player gets to do nothing. I remember the times when my friends and I could all be Kirby and all have separate copy abilities, but instead, I'm here with this motherfucker again. I don't wanna be no goddamn bandana D again, man. Also, why did they remove the kissing? That was my favorite part. 7 out of 10. I'm done. No, I love you. Now kiss it. <laughs> 